So I want to show you an interesting item that came into the scrapyard. It might be something you come across once in a scrapping lifetime. Who knows, maybe you find a company that makes them. But these are different pieces of switches that are going to electronics. Now this was a rejected piece, so when you look at it, it's a lot of plastic, but here's what I really like. When you dig deeper, you can start to see, and if you come over and look here, right at the end, you have these three big hunks of aluminum. Once in a while, these could be copper hunks. This case, they're not, they're just aluminum. But here's what I like. One, two, three pieces of copper bus bar underneath it. Now, each of these pieces of bus bar can be taken out by taking these screws apart. If you look over on this piece, you can see the back of the bus bar kind of sticking out. Screw here, screw here. That's going to disconnect this entire piece. Now, this gives a really good angle. Not only do we have insulated copper wire that can get cut, you have pieces of copper number two tin coat that are inside here as well. Now, this piece, once it's taken apart, is going to yield about 20 to 25 pounds of copper, insulated wire, and aluminum. And while this piece at a scrapyard would only be bought as a CBM, a copper bearing material, this is something that you should be taking apart. It's a no brainer. On the other side, there's actually a little electric motor that pulls things as well. You can see the, the cords right here. There's an electric motor that's turning things around. So you have a lot of money to be made on weird things like this. And if you can ever find a refurbisher, you might be able to resell, maybe not the unit itself, but certain pieces of the parts because some of these lugs, some of these nuts, they're really expensive. And when you have things that are really expensive and hard to find, if you go to a hardware store, you might be paying two, three, four bucks per piece where you can sell some of these online in groups. And if they're costing you next to nothing to get and it's only scrap, that's a really good upgrade. And if you ever do electrical work, keeping some of these small pieces for yourself will make you more money. So this is just something that came in the scrapyard. Again, nothing that comes in often, but once in a while, you're gonna get something that you haven't seen before use your magnet use your file research things a little bit you can make money taking things apart relatively quickly and why not a piece like this you could get for nothing and make 50 to 100 bucks any other questions comment below Thank you so much for being an exclusive YouTube member receiving these videos. If there's anything that you want us to talk about that should be a little bit of a secret, let us know and we'll film another exclusive video for you. Any other questions, let us know. Thanks for being a member.